Hey guys, welcome back to The Zelensky Life. I'm Cody, this is Val. We've been on here sharing our journey towards debt freedom and financial independence. And today we want to talk about the emergency fund. How much do you need? All right, so the typical advice we hear in the financial personal finance community mm -hmm. is that you should have a thousand dollars saved up for an emergency fund yeah at this point that's permeated culture as a whole so much that you don't even have to be interested or looking into personal finance at all and everybody just knows that you need a thousand dollar emergency fund mm -hmm. basically now personally we don't think that's enough it's a good place to start yes it's better than nothing yeah the thinking behind it is that if you were to have an emergency, like something on your car wound up breaking, or you had an unexpected medical expense, or you know you missed a couple days of work, maybe you have to buy a plane ticket to fly to a funeral for family or something like that, typically that thousand dollars will cover it in most cases. Yeah, I, I think um, depending on your style of income, more towards the the steady kind of corporate employment situation or like a steady salary yeah th yeah that's that's what i meant salary like yeah. a steady salaried position um they've still found that like most the average north american is five hundred thousand or five hundred to a thousand dollars away from bankruptcy like one emergency could completely destroy their situation yeah um so the idea being that the thousand dollar emergency fund would be that buffer between you and catastrophe yes now, if you're new here, something uh, that we can share about us and our financial journey so far is we are a single income household. Yeah. Cody's the only one actively really working, bringing in any meaningful income as I'm a stay-at-home parent. Yeah. And I have had steady work in the past, but all of my work is project-based. I work mm -hmm. in industrial construction and maintenance, and those are not permanent gigs. No. Um, particularly not the way things have been going the last several years, especially with COVID basically shutting down the world. Um, it's hit or miss. I don't have a salary. I rarely have benefits. We rarely have um, steady, guaranteed income. Mm -hmm. um, so a thousand dollars, like we've, we're still in debt because we bought into the thousand dollar emergency fund. Yes. We saved up that thousand dollars. We dumped everything we possibly could on debt, mm -hmm. and then an emergency far bigger than a thousand dollars would come up. Whether that was. Uh, a car accident, a family emergency where I had to miss a bunch of work. Mm -hmm. um, getting getting laid off is the big thing. Getting laid off, de definitely like losing the income because that thousand dollars just doesn't go far enough and no. we've always had to re-rack up our credit cards yeah. after paying them off. Now we haven't had this problem in well over a year now since we've changed the way that we tackle our finances yeah. and our budget. Um, but. Yeah, as Cody said, he's got very irregular income. He could have work for a few weeks or he could have work for a few months. But those jobs always end and then he's off work for a few weeks to a few months. Yeah, and depending on the job I take and what's available and how hard up we are at the time, I've had uh, just not too long ago, we, I, I went and did a shutdown for two months where after that two months we were sitting on almost $15,000. Mm -hmm. And then I've had another job where after two weeks we were sitting on 1500 Yeah. Um, which, you know, paid the bills and kept the wolves away, but we sure weren't getting ahead. Yes. So why do we tell you this? Because when you have a really irregular income, and honestly, even if you have what you feel is like a steady, secure income, mm -hmm. you $1,000 is not enough for most yeah. people. If is you it, get laid off, if you get sick, if you lose your job, $1,000 is not going to last you very long. For most people, their rent alone is more than $1,000. Yeah. Yeah, so the, the typical advice around the, the $1,000 emergency fund is go hard, do everything you have to do, build up that $1,000 immediately, and then no longer save money after that. Um, if you have to pull out of that $1,000, replenish it, mm -hmm. but maintain that $1,000 and use all extra income towards paying off debt. Mm -hmm. um, I think our advice, the way we would tweak that is same thing, go hard, get that $1,000 as quickly as you can, yeah. and then after that, split up your income continue building on top of that thousand dollars a little bit every month yeah but also pay towards debt yes we use a pay yourself pay yourself first method so we started with just 10 percent of our income um but you know whatever percentage you can and put that away consistently religiously yeah. before you do anything else into a savings account honestly if your situation is so tight that you can only find 
25 cents to put into savings, do it. It's better than nothing. Yeah. At the very least, it builds the habit and gets you into the mindset of doing it so that mm -hmm. it's less of a turnaround um, mindset wise when you do have more money. Mm -hmm. And worst case scenario, maybe you're super steady with that for like 10 years and you know, a quarter a month for 10 years is still better than nothing. Yeah. So how do you decide how much should be in that emergency fund? So again, this goes back to the basic step in every video is have a budget. If you don't have a budget, mm -hmm. please make a budget. You need to have a budget. If you need help with a budget, reach out to us. We can help you that we we're happy to bounce ideas off you, answer mm -hmm. questions, yeah. um, anything. Cause you need a budget and we're, we're here to help. Yeah, we're actually working right now on putting together a financial basics course mm -hmm. for people that'll walk you through, you know, not just how to start a budget, but a lot of the basics around creating a debt payoff plan, how to mm -hmm. start saving, how to change your money mindset. Um, it'll include templates for, for budgeting and as well as saving challenges yeah. and a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, basic budget templates, um, expense tracking templates, savings challenge templates. If you want to see when that's going to come out, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so that you can kind of stay in the loop. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so you'd, you'd start with your budget and you're going to look at your expenses. And so ideally your emergency fund, I think, should be at least one month. Mm -hmm. At least one month. And that's if you've got a very secure income. Yeah. Otherwise, you want to lean more three to six months. And, and this will depend on your comfort level and how steady your income is and, and what you want to do. Um, but that three to six months needs to be all of your expenses. So your obligations like your rent, utilities, food, gas, insurance, um, basically anything to keep you up to date on your bills and mm -hmm. surviving. Yeah. What this does not include is things like dining out. Yeah, it, it doesn't include all the extras, you know, fancy vacations, mm -hmm. nice restaurants, you know, birthday or anniversary parties. It's like... yeah the bare minimum stuff to keep you from dying and going into bankruptcy. Yes, exactly. So um, you don't want to include the discretionary spending, the non-necessary stuff like that. Just yeah. your, your bills, your food, your, your gas, your just what you need to survive mm -hmm. kind of thing. Now for Cody and I, that's about $3,800, $4,000 a month, somewhere around there. Um, so if we wanted a three month emergency fund, we need about $12,000 in there. Yeah. Um, for you, that might look different. If you have no debt, or you're living at home, or you have really low expenses, yeah. or you might you've only just need been six really grand. disciplined for you know however long, and you just live, you you do more of the off grid, super minimal mm -hmm. uh, situation like that. You can get away with less, but you you want to look at what how much money it costs you to live for a month, mm -hmm. and multiply that by three to six months. Yes. Um, and then you want to pay yourself first. So every mm -hmm. time you get income, whatever the source it's from, take however much you've deemed that you can afford to put aside mm -hmm. and you put that into that savings account. Now, once you've reached that three to six month emergency fund, if you want to stop contributing to it and redirect that money to your debt snowball, if you've already had a debt snowball going or whatever the case may be, then do that. I would encourage you to do that because getting out of debt will be very important. Yeah. But I would caution you against maybe what we all hear of like tackle your debt first before your savings yeah i know that's that's very common in the personal finance community we have tried that for years and yeah. it has gotten us into a lot of trouble by not having some kind of savings or safety net set aside yeah, first but by not having that security blanket there especially in a volatile situation like ours um mm -hmm. and even if your situation isn't that volatile you are never going to regret having more money on hand and I mean, worst case scenario, maybe you do that for three or four years and then you look at it and say, hey, I got 20 grand in savings. I owe 10 grand left on my debt. Mm -hmm. You can just dump that onto your debt yep. and then make it up really quickly totally. by no longer having debt payments. But you will never, ever regret having more money on hand. Worst case scenario, if you do get to a point where you're like, wow, I have way more than I need. Well, it's there for you to pay off debt with, invest with, whatever. Mm-hmm. So that's about it. That's what we wanted to cover. Yeah, in that's this it video. for this one. Short and sweet. Anything else, baby? Nothing else for me. No, that's it. So, if you uh, found any value or any uh, anything helpful in this video, let us know in the comments. Um, make sure you hit that like button. Um, so yeah, if you like it, like it. If you don't like it, dislike it twice. Um, subscribe for more helpful information like this. Turn on notifications if you don't have them. Make sure you ring that little bell. If you have an actual little bell, ring that. And 
In the meantime, that's it for us. We'll catch you guys on the next one. We love you very much. And is it payday yet? Bye. Bye.